This video uh, shows uh, process making a breadboard. The wood was uh, obtained from Titsikama Forest in South Africa and you will be seeing uh, the steps uh, as we go through to make the breadboard. First to cut it in rough length uh, using a circular saw and uh, then the wood uh, is taken to the jointer and one face is uh, jointed and you'll see how um, beautiful the grain is becoming visible on the surface as we uh, joint it um, or surface plane the uh, stock. Um, this is the first step uh, following the uh, wood coming from the um, salt mill. Uh, the surface is planed completely um, as we put it through the uh, jointer. Different uh, layers are becoming visible and once the complete surface is uh, planed uh, and it's nice and flat, the next uh, step in the process is to create a 90 degree um, or a right angle edge to that uh, already planed surface. And that's done on the jointer as well. And we can see here putting it through and taking very small, uh, very fine um, shavings in a way through the uh, um, edge using the jointer and keeping in mind that uh, the wood is kept 90 degrees using the fence. The next step is to put it through the uh, thickness planer and this uh, creates a parallel surface to the already jointed surface and also of course planes the second uh, face of the wood and you can see now the beautiful grain coming through uh, on the second uh, surface after having been through the thickness planer. Now we still have one edge that hasn't been cut yet and uh, using the uh, edge that came out of the jointer that's flat as we know uh, the second uh, edge is also been uh, cut uh, parallel to the first uh, edge uh, which gives us uh, a perfect uh, square uh, piece of board. Decided to put uh, a bevel on the surface of the uh, edges. Um, it's uh, 22.5 degrees so just, just an arbitrary um, angle and all four sides, uh, all four edges were received that taking care that the uh, shorter ends uh, um, have been done by using a, a mitre gauge. The top uh, edges had a round over using the handheld edge trimmer. The edge trimmer is uh, beautiful uh, small device that uh, is very portable and uh, really creates uh, excellent uh, um, shapes and the edges of the wood and this is uh, an ascending process which we're not showing the full process but using the 80 grit 120 grit and 240 grit sanding uh, those uh, tight corners and uh, edges require uh, some more hand uh, sanding and, uh, and uh, also we wetted the uh, board a little bit and let the, the grain to rise a little bit, the surface uh, to rise a little bit and then re -sanded it. This is the final process, simply using olive oil uh, to pop the grain as they say and as we spread it on the board you'll see how beautiful uh, the color is uh, um, becoming visible nice dark color of the uh, black wood and also the grain um, becomes uh, much more visible of course and uh, as I mentioned before this is just uh, simply using a, a little bit of olive oil to uh, to seal it. We want it to be food safe and uh, we uh, um, prefer the olive oil for that uh, purpose rather than any other artificial um, sealing substance. So uh, the board is uh, ready now, just removing the excess uh, olive oil and just leaving enough uh, on the board and it's ready to be uh, used in both for uh, cutting bread or as a serving tray um, if uh, needed. 
thanks for watching and uh, um, hope you enjoy the video.